Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Quick update on our rainstorm, which is primarily going to be a rainstorm on Sunday. Cold, miserable rain, but some snow for parts of the higher elevations. We'll get into the details here, but I wanted to show you where the system is right now. It's to our south, and again, this is all rain currently. You can see the surface low is here. This surface low is going to track right up the coast like this, basically become a nor'easter. The upper level low is back here. This is going to swing through as the surface low moves up the coast and this is important because that upper low this thing back here is likely going to drive any potential snow that could briefly albeit briefly develop east of the mountains so that's the area that we're going to be watching for maybe just a brief little batch of snow on the back side of this system now i want to quickly show you the water vapor loop because it's kind of interesting to see the water vapor loop here and you can see that piece of energy back there i'll turn off the radar real quickly that's the energy back there. We'll look at the high water vapor loop here. Right there, that's the upper low, and this is the surface system moving to the northeast. So let's get right to the future cast. All right, we'll get to the future cast. You can see no rain this morning. We're not expecting much of anything. If we're going to see the first batches of rain, I've been getting a lot of questions about this. You know, when's the first batches of rain? Maybe 5 o'clock the first sprinkles, but honestly, it's really like 7 that the first real batches of heavy rain move in. So if you have outdoor plans or anything going on today, you should be okay until at least dinner time. Um, can't rule out the sprinkle ahead of time, but the real heavy stuff is really after dinner. Overnight, look at all this heavy rain moving in. You can see 10 o'clock. I'm gonna stop this thing about one o'clock in the morning on Sunday morning. And this is some really heavy rain and it's a cold, miserable rain. We'll have strong Northeast winds blowing up to maybe 30, 35 miles an hour. Higher elevation only snow. Even in the mountains, this is going to be rain initially before it transitions to some snow, especially in the valleys. The valleys could really struggle to see snow. So if you're like in Asheville, like Boone, some of these lower elevations surrounded by bigger mountains, you're not going to see a huge total. If you're seeing crazy totals of 12, 12, 10, 12 inches, that's going to be really isolated to the highest mountaintops. Um, tomorrow morning, you can see there's a little lull in the activity, likely some kind of dry slot comes in. And essentially, that's drying in the mid layers of the atmosphere, which will make this more drizzly or misty. But at the same time, the upper low is coming in from the west. This is when the coldest air aloft moves in and gives you the potential for, you know, the, the snowfall. Even in the mountains, this will transition to snow fairly quickly. And so the real snow totals will pile up during the middle of the day tomorrow. Notice as we go into the afternoon, some hints of some snowflakes from like Lincolnton, Shelby, Hickory, Statesville, but a tough time sticking. Those temperatures are above freezing, so it's going to be melting fairly quickly. And then into the afternoon, that's the fleeting chance of a snow shower east of the mountains. It really is. Do not count on snow. This is going to be rain. I can't emphasize that enough. It is going to be rain for most of us. This is not a true winter storm in the sense of winter storms. Let's look at the totals now. So here's a look at those totals. You can see, you know, we go in mostly rain, a few flakes east. Trace to an inch is probably optimistic. And when you go into the mountains and foothills, these higher amounts are going to be confined to like Beach and Sugar Mountain, Grandfather Mountain, maybe parts of Roan Mountain, Howard's Knob, up towards Grayson Highlands. But Boone, Banner Elk, Blowing Rock, probably more in that maybe two three inch at most i think one inch probably with the melting and down here this could be a fleeting chance of snow that you only see briefly as it moves on so there are winter storm warnings up for the higher elevations 3500 feet and above the valleys and some of the adjacent foothills that's a winter weather advisory because of lesser amounts as far as the impacts and this is really what you should be looking at how big of an impact this is going to have on travel that kind of thing really not much of any unless you're going to the highest elevations you can see these are basically lining up the medium to high um, impacts or lining up with the highest elevations so you know that that's mount mitchell right there in the middle of the screen right there uh, there's beach and sugar mountain roan mountain over there um, these are the balsams these are the smoky mountains you know 26 going through the french broad river valley is fine until you get to the newfound gap area that's probably the area where they'll be the worst travel, but they're pretty good about keeping the interstate open. And it's a wet, heavy snow. So this will look pretty cool on the trees. Up the higher elevations should stick just about to everything as it moves through. So good news is not a huge impact storm, higher elevation snow. But if you're excited for snow on Super Bowl Sunday, it's really just going to be a cold, miserable rain. One thing I haven't mentioned is the wind. 
Because this is likely to be a pretty strong nor'easter along the coast, it's going to drive in really strong northeast winds at times. So these winds coming out of the northeast, which is where the name nor'easter comes from, is the winds it produces, northeast winds, they could gust as high as 30 to 35 miles an hour. So in the mountains, this could be more of a problem because if you get some wet, heavy snow on tree branches or power lines, and then you get a 30, 35 mile gust, that might bring um, some power lines or a tree down. So that's something to keep an eye on. For the Piedmont, this could bring some branches down and blow some loose debris. So you may want to just have the yard cleaned up. No loose items out there as it is going to be a very windy day. Of course, I'll be keeping a close eye on this today and tomorrow I'll be working the evening shifts, um, posting updates throughout the day. Have a great Super Bowl weekend and just be ready for a really miserable Sunday weather-wise.